Hey guys, Justin here, and it's uh, Thursday night, and I'm at another mall tonight, but uh, this mall just happens to have a bunch of cars and uh, uh, several different dealerships, so I uh, just got to make sure all the buildings are secure and locked up, and I just got done checking all the cars. I got to check every single car in the slot to make sure that they're all locked, because uh, some of the dealers like really don't even care don't lock the cars and uh... most of the times i find keys in the car i didn't find any keys tonight that's kind of rare uh... usually i'll find at least one set of keys left in the car uh... but the uh... order of importance here is uh... customer cars used cars and the new cars and you'd think that you know you'd want to look after the new cars first because they you know cost the most and it'd be the most expensive thing to like get stolen but the thing is that um, all the new cars and stuff are like insured or something so like if it gets stolen or broken into it's it's the dealer's car so and they have like it insured or something but I mean if a customer's car gets broken or damaged or stolen even then uh that's that's on us that's uh that's the uh owner's problem and we have to pay for that vehicle so if anything happens to the customer's vehicle because you know we signed for it and said you know we'll take care of it while it's being you know detailed over here at the car wash or having some work done on it at the body shop so that's the order of importance um, i checked all the customer cars first make sure they're all locked and secured and uh I uh, keep an eye out on those especially uh, because we don't want anything happening to those. But other than that, uh, I don't have much going on. I've completed everything. Everything's all locked up. So now we're just going to play the waiting game. Uh, waiting until 6 a.m. until my shift's over. But uh, just keep an eye out for everyone who comes on the lot here. Seeing what they're up to. There's cleaners that come in and out on the different buildings. So, I, I pretty much know what kind of cars they drive. So, uh, yeah, other than that, there's some people that uh, come out and look at cars late at night. Especially on the weekends, they'll drive around and look at cars. So, they're allowed to do that. Um, I don't like to get up on, on their ass. Like, when they pull on the property, I don't like follow them, like, real close. Because that's just, like, freaking annoying. So, I, look, I watch them from a distance, which is sounds kind of uh, creepy even more creepy than me being right up on them but I just I'm not gonna bother them if they're just looking around but uh, yeah last night uh, I told you in yesterday's video there's some um, people out here like taking a license plate off a car for I don't know what reason but I don't think it was their car and uh, you know they got away with it uh, the security guard, security officer out here, uh, he told him he asked him for proof that it was a, their car and they didn't provide it and they just took off right away. I was supposed to be working yesterday night, but uh, they made a schedule mistake and didn't schedule anybody for that outdoor mall uh, that day. So that guy was off, but he he worked out here, and then I, you know, went over there at the outdoor mall. So. Uh, I wish, I wish I would have been out here like I would have been, and, uh, let's just say it would have been a lot harder for them to get away with it. I would definitely, uh, stand my ground and, uh, be more aggressive, so that wouldn't have happened, but it did, but that's alright. So, yep, uh, that's pretty much all I got for today, uh... It's pretty simple out here. All my all my uh, accounts are pretty simple. Uh, just making sure nothing really happens. So I did apply for uh, to be a confinement officer. Uh, this confinement officer is just uh, working in the jail and uh, uh, transporting uh, prisoners to different cells or to like medical appointments within the within the uh, jail facility there. I did that for my county. So I'm not going to hear back, well, I'm hoping I hear back, but if, and if I do, it won't be 
for at least six weeks because that kind of this that stuff kind of takes forever to do. Uh, so that's all the news I really have. Uh, hopefully I'll hear back from them, but I'll definitely let you know. But anyway, I'll catch you later. See ya.